Hey guys, if you like this content, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It helps uh, make these videos worth it going forward. Hey guys, Elcoin Sherpa here with a daily coin analysis on Theta. As always, this is not financial advice. I'm not an expert. Do your own research. So let's go into some TA on Theta. Theta is a very old coin that was pretty much born in the bear market. I mean, May 2018 is when the coin was listed on Binance and there was nothing but pain and destruction pretty much for Theta during those first several months. So what we can see from a technical analysis standpoint is that Theta has these long accumulation periods where price really doesn't move at all and i remember this uh summer of 2018 this was a pretty miserable summer for many altcoins and 2019 was also quite mis miserable in general so as you can see here there were weeks of accumulation followed by big big runs and this is another reason why i was pretty bullish in general on uh well, it's not really shown too much on the Theta chart, but 2019, obviously in the winter Q4, this was a big, big bull run for altcoins. You didn't really see it too, too much in 2019. Uh, I remember Theta had this huge wick in uh, the early summer. And the thing about Theta is it actually has kind of its own market cycle meaning that Theta goes off when other coins were going down and vice versa, Theta was going down when other coins were going up. And it kind of decoupled around, uh, after this big run here in May of 2018, for instance, if you compare that to something like, uh, I don't know, let's compare it to ETH. So May 2018, ETH was just kind of floating around, not doing much. And ETH is usually a good indicator for the rest of the altcoin market in general. I remember this big run that Theta had, and this was also when I think futures were introduced for uh, around the late May. And I remember it spiked up huge and then it just, it just, uh, went all the way down and this is going to be more reflected better on the USD USDT chart but we'll go into that later on but data is a good example of a coin that broke its all-time high level in the uh, US or I'm sorry the BTC pair from its former all-time highs now that could have been because this coin was not really uh, it didn't have those huge highs from the original alt season in 2017, early 2018. So, so coins like ICX and NEO and those types of Ethereum killers, those spiked very, very, very high back though in the, uh, 2017, 2018. Theta didn't really do that. It was listed a lot later than those coins. Uh, relatively speaking, you know, a few months later, which is obviously years in crypto. But in general, Theta is a very bullish coin and it has its runs right now where other coins were basically uh, doing the opposite. So for instance, Theta was having a huge run in August uh, to late September. And if I recall correctly, Let's take a look. So August to September, I believe that. Okay, so it actually did have the same retrace, but uh, it, it'll be more reflected here actually on the USD chart. So uh, for instance, Theta was running when all of the Earl Collins were dying in the USD chart. Basically speaking, uh, from it had this huge run all the way to October, whereas uh, YFI was just dying from September to October. Or November, I'm sorry. Okay, so sorry, I'm sorry to get uh, sidetracked here. 
I'll talk about the USD pair uh, later on. But let's just talk about the BTC pair for right now. Uh, overall, this is still a very bullish chart. Here are my levels on the one week. And this former swing high back in September 28th, this is clear resistance on the BTC pair. And you can see price wicking up. And I think it's very, very likely that price breaks it. You can see consolidation at resistance with higher lows in a bullish trend. Generally speaking, this is a uh, this is very bullish. So you can think of this as a supply or a resistance zone or whatever you want to call it. And these sellers are getting wicked out and eaten up. So I think it's only a matter of time before this actually moves up. With that said, if Bitcoin goes to like 55,000 or 60,000, then this uh, is going to go lower for sure. Uh, when Bitcoin is running hard, it generally just sucks out the out all the liquidity from all altcoins and obviously there's going to be a lot of exceptions especially around this time of the year but i think that alt usd or i'm sorry alt btc pairs in general will generally go down but from a technical analysis standpoint from this coin alone this uh looks really good uh you should you should really see price wicking up like this and it'll eventually break it uh, very explosively. So I'm expecting this move to go pretty strongly when it happens. And these sellers are all getting taken out. I mean, this is resistance that gets, it's getting tapped multiple times. So remember, whenever price wicks up into these levels like this, uh, those sellers are getting taken out every time. You know, those sell orders are getting filled. So, uh, Resistance is weaker and weaker as it gets tapped more and more. So uh, I'm still bullish on this in general. Theta still looks really good to me. And that also could be because the USD pair also looks strong. If I'm looking for BTC to be uh, fairly strong in general, then I would look for this level, this 5200 Satoshi's area. I think this level will get tapped. And I think this is like a pretty okay level it's already been tapped once if bitcoin goes to something really crazy like 60 something thousand it'll go all the way back down in my opinion um but in general i think that theta still looks pretty good oops i'm sorry from a btc standpoint and it also uh, highlights as well some different uh chart formations in general you saw this uh area right here where it basically accumulated from june to august you I remember accumulation is basically a ranging consolidation where price is just uh ping-ponging between a range and you saw it here <coughs> in the bottom of november to december this was a kind of rounded bottom here there's all sorts of different types of reversal patterns for altcoins or just trading in general and this was one right here. So right now it still looks pretty good to me. Uh, price is at resistance, so I can't recommend buying, but it is something to keep an eye on. Uh, you know, there's a few different trades you can take. For one, you can wait and try to be patient if Bitcoin goes on a run, try to enter around 5,200 uh, Satoshis. You can wait for the break and retest and just buy around here. I mean, whenever something goes to all-time high levels on the BTC chart, then uh, or I guess both pairs would go to all-time high levels, then this, you know, sky's the limit. You don't really know where it's going to go. Uh, those are probably the two trades I would take. I don't know if I'd necessarily buy at this level personally, but it still looks bullish to me, in my opinion. But again, Bitcoin also still looks really strong, so you want to be careful on that. Don't necessarily uh, just buy right now, because if Bitcoin looks strong, then the alt-BTC pairs will generally go down. Theta USD, as I said before, Theta USDT, this coin had its own market cycle. It basically just went insane. I remember back um, back in June and May when this coin really just went berserk. And it had these massive wicks. And this is right here is a good, I mean, obviously this is a big blow off top. You can see huge sell volume and price just having a blow off top bat, massive wicks and on low time frames you could really see a lot of volatility in terms of uh that i mean look 40 percent right here for that wick alone and this is a good example of bullish accumulation 
So what we saw here was basically price was sitting in this range here for months. So from beginning of June all the way to August, price was just ping ponging and doing really nothing. Now there's several ways you can trade accumulation and I have a video on that, but there is an opportunity cost to that money. So if you just buy in here, you're basically hoping that price will just uh, make its big move and you'll cap capture that first big move. However, your money is just sitting there and it could really just, you know, do, it's really going to nothing or not, it's not doing anything in these situations. Now, if you can start to see some signs of price starting to move, for instance, this big volume candle on August 1st, that's usually a good sign that price is starting to, to wake up a little bit and get ready to move. You'll wanna see some big volume follow up along with big uh, buy candles and then that's when you know that price is starting to move. So as I said before, uh, Theta had a bullish accumulation period and then it started to run really strongly. So basically from August 1st all the way to October and again, eventually in December, uh, it had a strong move. And as I said before, Theta had its own market cycle. Everything else was basically dying off all throughout this, this time period. I mean, Theta held up well, it was doing another bullish accumulation, but you're basically seeing this type of price action where you see big move up, come down, consolidate, big move up, come down, consolidate, big move up. And this is the price action that you're seeing right now for Theta. And this is really what you're gonna be seeing a lot for a lot of different altcoins as well. And this is again, was what happened again with Theta. Big run from August all the way to October where you basically saw a 180% gain and then it accumulated again and now it's having a big run. And once again, after its big run, you saw again, accumulation. This was another accumulation area where price basically just ping ponged back and forth within this range. And, and uh, now it's moving again. So in general, I'm very bullish on Theta. As I said before in another Twitter post, this is the kind of price action I was really targeting. Um, coins that were basically accumulating and now they're starting to run. So Theta, Zill, um, there's all sorts of other coins like this. It's a lot of the old majors like EOS are doing this too. So these are the coins that kind of are ones to focus on right now and they're starting to run and there's big volume follow-up. Since this is in price discovery, I'm not really sure where the top is, so to speak. You can use Fibonacci extensions, but um, it hasn't had a massive, massive retrace quite yet. So it's, it's gonna be a little harder to tell, in my opinion, where this top is. Although this Fib extension looks pretty good right here. I mean, this, uh, this has been pretty good in general if you can look at these levels, so not bad. But overall, I'm still bullish on Theta. As long as Bitcoin is still strong, this is still a really good um, coin in general to trade. And I would not be surprised at all to see like more consolidation and then move up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, good luck.